All right, hello everyone. So the banner for Ufi Heathcliff has just dropped, and he is essentially just Liu Rodion, but for um, Tremor Gang. Uh, so if you've seen Liu Rodion, you know that she has a passive that scales off of the burn. She has a coin power based off the burn. Well, if you just swap all of that to Tremor, you literally have uh, Heathcliff. That's what Heathcliff is going to be. Coin power plus one for every three Tremor on target, making his skill one into a 15 coin move. Uh, sorry, 15 uh, total power. And then skill two is going to be uh, 16 by default. Then the coin power plus one for every six. That is going to be a 20 on the skill two. And then on the skill three is also a coin power plus one. This one is 17 by default. But then if you add the plus one, it will go up to... Um, sorry, not plus one, plus two. It will go up to six, 12, 18, 23 in total. So in terms of clashing, this guy has it as long as you have the tremors on the target, which is honestly not that bad to hit. You just need to hit six or you need to hit 12 in order to get his full power. And then for his passive, he also scales off of the tremor potency by damage. So he deals 30% more damage if you have 18 tremor potency on a target, All right? So his damage output is not like super amazing because it's 2 coin, 2 coin, 3 coin, but he does have his passive to compensate a little bit. And he also has very good clashing power, very, very comfortable clashing power of 15, uh, 20 and 20 something. So it's actually pretty damn good. Actually a pretty good uh, clashing character, 3 star, so it probably has to be. And of course, inflict plus 2 tremor count, so positive 2 tremor. And then we also have inflict 2 tremor, inflict 2 tremor. And this character is unique in that he will transform your tremor potency and count into tremor decay by using amplitude conversion and what the hell is tremor decay well i finally have an answer for you tremor decay is just tremor but they added the dark flame effect onto it which is when you will lose one defense level for every four tremor potency and there is no cap the cap is actually just 99 you can go all the way to 99 so you take 99 divided by 4 that's 24.75 but you cannot get 7.75 so you just get 24 so you just get 24 defense level down on a target which is quite a substantial amount but at the same time uh bosses usually die by the time you stack up that much because our tremor potency application is not that fast yet right but still this is actually a really cool way to make tremor more uh, have a, a little bit more punch to it right and this is just the first step because if you read amplitude conversions effect eventually we can convert already converted tremors onto the on the target to a different type of the tremor and the potency and count will just transform in the future so maybe tremor decay is just the first step into future transformations into other uh statuses for tremor maybe in the future they could do something like what tremor rupture where now instead you will just for every tremor on the target you apply one additional rupture or something like that like tremor could actually go a supporty route where it becomes like different statuses so tremor burn tremor rupture or whatever or it could just become its own thing and become like tremor burst where it will just explode or i don't know just become earthquake or something where you blow it up and the enemy actually takes damage equal to tremor every time you burst something like that could be very very powerful in the future and this opens up a lot of options for people to cook i'm very very excited for the future of tremor just by looking at this tremor decay as well as this amplitude conversion and the fact that this guy actually has like above average coin clashing like this is a really really good unit uh, that opens up a lot of possibilities for p moon to cook in the future uh, allows you to go and support other statuses or can even become its own status and just explode the enemy i do not know which way they're gonna go but this is very very exciting so 24 defense level down for now if you can stack your tremor to that level and what happens when you convert all of your tremor to tremor decay what happens is that all of your regular tremor stuff will just transform automatically into tremor decay so let's say we have 20 tremor and potency and we have one count that will convert into directly 20 tremor decay one count and let's say i also use another skill like lccb ishmael's gun that applies plus two count plus two count as well as eight tremor potency and another eight tremor potency so what happens is that because i have 20 and one here what happens is that a total of 16 tremor potency gets added to my tremor decay so it becomes 36 and then i will also gain four count which makes this into a five count tremor decay with 36 potency so everything no matter who mola rose or lccb will just convert directly into this new tremor decay meaning that you can just treat this as regular tremor but for uh but has the additional effect of the defense level down right so yeah this is 
just super cool. Just a super cool design and I'm very happy to see the future of this Tremor Decay and what they might convert this Tremor Decay into in the future. As for everything else about this character, defense is not something you probably use that often. It's a pride skill, so maybe really pride resonance or something like that. But essentially, it's just when you get attacked, you inflict one tremor count. It's really whatever. You probably won't use this unless you need pride. Passive does need pride, so if you need it, then you can go ahead, but it's only four. Uh, you get the passive here based on the potency. I think this potency also counts tremor decay. It literally is just... Like, you can treat Tremor Decay as just Tremor. Like, it's the exact same thing with one additional effect. And you can, everything else just interacts with this normally, like regular Tremor. But another passive that he has is that when he converts it, he will also trigger Tremor Burst on the target. So essentially, this character, right? You want your whole team to be built around Tremor. You want to get at least up to this 20 requirement. Use his skill tree one time. And then that's it. You are ready to just stack this Tremor Decay as much as possible, as long as you need and then you can go and start punching that boss really really hard. This is not even including the defense level downs that you get from the other characters like your um, uh, Regret Faust as well as your uh, Molar uh, Yisang. Those characters can stack even more defense level downs onto the target. So you can actually get more than 24 defense level down just by using other IDs to help stack that defense level down. It's interesting Maybe not the most efficient strat, but we are getting somewhere. Maybe in the future, defense level down can actually be an archetype by itself just because Tremor Decay exists. So yeah, I'm very, very excited. There's so many possibilities with just this transformation shenanigans here. Yeah, So, so cool. Alright, so we talked about uh, this Heathcliff. Uh, by the way, pretty much, um, he's actually okay at uptight 3. You don't even need to go uptight 4. Uptai 4 is just if you want additional plus 1 coin power, but with Uptai 3, right, this character actually becomes already above average in terms of clashing. Like, plus 1 is 7, 14, 14 plus 4 is 18. That's already above a lot of other characters. So, in terms of budget, this character is also pretty damn good. Because only his coin power part is affected pretty much. Everything else is just the same. So, if a new player were to accidentally get this character, they could actually use him at Uptai 3. Like, they don't actually just need to only go for Rabbit Heathcliff, although Rabbit Heathcliff is probably still more optimal than this character. It's just that this character can actually function like with Uptai 3. So it's really, really good overall. I really like this character in its entirety. I think Pimum cooked really, really well this character. And he's a standard character, meaning you can just wait until uh, whenever you feel like it to go and get this character. Or you can spook by this character anytime you want. Like, oh, this character is such a cool design and so, so good. Right, let's talk about the team comms that uh, can be open with this. So, because you want to get potency as much as possible, you're going to need characters with a crap ton of potency application, which means it's probably going to be LCCB Ishmael with her massive skill 2 application. And maybe something like Rose Spanner Workshop Fixer. Once you uptie him, his skill 3 here will apply about 6 tremor potency in total. And yeah, he's generally just a pretty okay potency applier. Applies 4 on the skill 1, applies 5 on the skill 2, applies another 6 on the skill 3, and so on and so forth. And uh, you also need to have a decent amount of count application because um, even though Tremor Decay, we know Tremor is very easy to maintain and stack. The problem with Tremor is actually uh, just that if you are not managing it well enough, you actually could burst all of your Tremor Decay and then you have to start from the scratch start from scratch again so someone like Mola office um, Otis you need to be quite careful with her because skill 3 right if you do not have spend tremor count effect then what happens is that you do not get a plus 3 tremor count to compensate for the fact that you're gonna burst uh, 3 times so you have to be quite careful with this otherwise this skill here right it's going to be a negative 3 tremor count if you have the the tremor on her, then you'll be able to uh, compensate by putting another plus 3 tremor count, then you become neutral. So you have to be a little bit careful with her. Her skill 2 is going to be negative 1, and she has no source of tremor count application onto targets. So yeah, something to take note of when you're using this character. And of course, Regret Faust. She's technically neutral because of her skill 1, you need to build up her character. And then after that, her skill 3 will burst several times and reduce the tremor count by uh, 3. So yeah, just a little bit of tremor count management is required probably for this character. Or, or, you could just spark this ego in the next season or maybe you already bought this battle pass and you have her already. You can use Rose Dion who is already neutral by herself. 
right? But when you plop this ego here, you get a massive 7 tremor count in a 2 AoE. You don't need more than that really. Unless the boss has like attack weight, then that's annoying. Then you might need to get the attack weight plus 1, but it doesn't really matter because you'll probably pop this ego at round start and then you have a massive plus 7 tremor count that will just like, boom, the guy is just... You have so much tremor count, you can do whatever you want to the boss already at this point. And since you're popping this round start, right? The boss has 75% HP, that's really easy. So you get a 4 AoE, that mostly will hit every single part. So you'll be able to maintain the tremor decay onto every single body part pretty easily, I would say. Yeah. Right, so the main restrictor right now, I feel, just because Effervescent Corrosion Rodion exists, is the potency part. The potency, you need to stack it as fast as possible. And right now, the only two major options I think we have are someone like um, Assault and Ishmael. Yeah. It's really only Masao and Ishmael right now. I can't really think of anyone else who applies a crap ton of potency, except maybe Molar uh, Sinclair who applies, I think, 6 here once you uptie him a bunch. He applies 6 potency on his skill too once you uptie him a lot. But other than that, yeah, it's uh, we don't really have a lot of potency application. Uh, it's, it's all like trickles of potency application among all the characters, so most likely it's probably like you have to use every single one of the potency appliers in order to get a substantial amount really fast. You cannot, there's no like one unit or one ego that makes it so that you don't need to bother about the tremor application. Everyone needs to contribute a little bit of tremor potency. Otherwise, yeah, we are just not going to uh, get a lot of this uh, tremor potency going. So, yeah. There's a lot of interesting things here. Uh, but I think that right now, tentatively, right, the team comp that you will run for now, all right, is maybe uh, Masalt, uh, Otis, Rose Spanner, Regret, and then LCCB, and then the new Heathcliff. And that team comp there will actually be pretty comfy. You have uh, three, eight, four decent clashers. Uh, and then you have uh, two characters here who are here just to purely support you in your in your tremor potency applications. I think there are a few passives here that could be useful in the future though. Um, I haven't checked like any of the passives right now. Uh, with the most max HP, uh, you get a plus one here as long as you own Fall Gloom. Yeah, you can get additional potency there. Uh, maybe she can give more potency application? No, it doesn't. She does not. Uh, uh, I can't remember who else can apply more potency application right now, but uh, more supports for additional tremor potency application will be very much uh, appreciated. And of course, if you put Spice Bush on your bench, uh, you can get some AoE shenanigans going with your regret file. So it kind of works out, honestly, all of this stuff here. Yeah, it kind of works out. Oh, man, I'm very, very excited for the future of Tremor. Really, really excited. There's so many pieces already here. And Yuffie Heathcliff just adds one more piece that can lead into more pieces being added in the future. So we can get different variations of Tremor. Oh, like there's a lot of there's a lot of design ideas, uh, design uh, uh, choices that they could make here. And I'm really excited to see what the future one is going to be for now. Alright, so that is really it. If I miss something, feel free to let me know in the comment section. If you have any other stuff that you want to add on, feel free to also leave a comment for that. But pretty much, Tremor is going to get converted into Tremor Decay, and then in the future, there's like so many other things it can transform to. And Yuffie Heathcliff is actually functional at Uptie 3, and just becomes better at Uptie 4. So actually a decent budget option if you accidentally get him, and you do not have Rabbit Heathcliff. But Rabbit Heathcliff will most of the time just be better. Right. So that's going to be it for this video. Thanks guys for watching and goodbye. Bye-bye.